Clayton, well, I know uh, this is a familiar space for you, but just when you think about kind of what the last month or so has looked like preparing for your start tomorrow, just how kind of good does it feel to be in this moment, to be getting the results you've been getting as of late? It's always special. You know, it's always a special time in October um, to get to be a part of it, to get to be a game one starter in the division series. It's a it's a special thing, you know, it's something that, you know, was maybe a little bit up in the air um, when I first came back. So very thankful for the opportunity. Um, and, you know, it's exciting. It's a good time um, to be a Dodger and um, I'm ready to go. Clay, Clayton, how much does it energize you when you hear your teammates say, when you're on your, when you're on the mark, it really helps them. And just by you being out there helps them. Well, I mean, anytime that you have the respect of your teammates and, um, you know, the, your, your coaches, doc, your manager, they want you to be out there for game one. Um, it's a tremendous honor, you know, and I, I don't take that for granted. And, um, you know, it's probably a little bit more unconventional this year and how we got here, but um, nonetheless, still getting to start game one, so I, I'll take it. Clayton, um, I believe this is career playoff start 32, so I'm asking you, how has your preparation mentally and physically evolved from back in the day, 2009 to now? Yeah, um, yeah, basically pitched a full season now in the postseason. And so, um, you know, you can prepare all you want and, um, you know, get ready to go. But at the end of the day, you just you got to go out there and execute and make your pitches. So that never changes. The nerves never change. You know, you still feel that no matter what. Um, I kind of said this today a little bit with the guys, but I think the one thing that has um, switched for me a little bit is, you know, you use those nerves, but where are the nerves coming from? And I think at times, maybe in the past, I had a fear of failure, you know, and um, didn't want to go out there and fail. And I think now it's it's just a lot more positive. Um, it's just a lot. The nerves are from an excitement to get to pitch in the playoffs, to get to be a part of it, to get to... Um, be in this moment that a lot of people in the game don't get to be in and um, so it's I think that's where the nerves come from now and um, I think that's a better place. Jack, Clayton, when you did come back, like how much of an uncertainty was it that you were going to be able to make it to this point and has it changed your perspective at all, kind of what you're talking about leading into the start? Um, Look, I think I think for the past however many years to get to be in the postseason, I've, I've become more grateful for it, you know. And I think uh, I think at the end of the day, you know, I, I just look at some of the the things that have happened and the things that I've gotten to be a part of, and um, not all has been positive, obviously, but I wouldn't change it, you know. I'd, I'd much rather fail on the biggest stages than not get to be here at all. So um, it's a it's a special thing to get to be in the postseason and. Um, like you said, this year was a little bit uh, up in the air there for a minute, so uh, it makes you all the more grateful to be here. Baby. When do you think that changed for you? Was that sort of this year? Was it sort of 2020 uh, series? Like, what, when did that perspective kind of shift? I don't know. I think when you get beat down enough, you just start saying screw it. You know, and I think that's kind of <laughs> it's kind of what happened over the years. You know, so. Um, uh, you can't hold it too tight, you know, I, I think uh, you can't hold it too tight. You just got to go out there and play and pitch. And um, It doesn't mean it's always going to go great, but I think the mindset can definitely help with that. And um, it just comes with experience. And thankfully for me, I've got to do it a lot and um, gotten a little bit better at it over the years. Andy, that's my question. Alvin. That was my question. Same one. Okay. <laughs> Down here in the front. Okay. <laughs> Clayton, you are obviously the veteran out there on the mound with so many young players. I was wondering if you've given them any words of advice. And do you remember your very first playoff game? Uh, I remember, I mean, I think I was in the bullpen in 2008. I would think I was kind of the long guy with uh, Greg Maddox, ironically. I think uh, we were kind of the two long guys in the pen in 2008. So that was kind of a unique experience. Uh, but as far as talking to the young guys, um, no, I really haven't. I mean, I you know I talk to them a lot. I talk to Bobby, Pat, and Sheehan a lot, but you know I, they're gonna feel it themselves, and um, you know especially Bobby pitching game two, like he's gonna have all those emotions and nerves, but man, he's got a really good head on his shoulders, and um, I don't think he needs to hear anything from me, and he knows he can talk to me if he needs to, but I, I think he I think he's gonna be great. I don't think he needs my help. Standing up the back, David. 
Just following up on that, as far as you're standing with the team and these young rookies that are going to be leaned on in the postseason, do you notice them following you around and just observing how you go about your day? No, not really. I mean, I don't think we've had anybody, uh, young guys, really do that. You know, we started with Walker. You know, Walker is on his own page anyway. So, um, you know, I think between you know him and some of these new young guys, and um, I, I think being a mentor looks a lot of different ways to a lot of different people. And I was always somebody that, you know, when you talk at me, doesn't do anything for me, you know. And um, so to lead by example as best you can and just kind of, have guys glean what they want from that is probably the only way I know how to do it. And so if you ask them, I have no idea what they tell you, if I've taught them anything or not. But um, I, I hopefully just kind of how I go about my day to day teaches them a little bit. And, and like I said before, they're pretty prepared. You know, they're way more prepared than I was when I first came up. And um, they have, they're just, they're, they're ready for the moment. And I think they're going to be great. Have you noticed, or can you put your finger on why? yourself and the other starters are embracing this type of mentality of using all 13 of you instead of just having the traditional one, two, three, four starters in the postseason? Well, I mean, look, that's what we have to do. You know, I mean, that's where we're at as a team. And I think that's a great thing, though. I really do. Um, and as far as, you know, embracing it or not, I mean, I think everybody's in the mindset that we just want to help this team win a World Series. And so, However that looks, whatever Doc thinks is best for us to go out there and pitch, that's what we're going to do, and that's when we're going to do it. And um, That's pretty cool. There's no egos about it. We're just going to go out there and pitch. and um, It might look a little different than it has in years past, but, you know, it might work. Clayton, uh, <clears throat> tomorrow's going to be your fourth straight Saturday start. Um, you've, you've had extra rest for a little bit here since coming back. How has that helped you, if at all, and, like, do you think it kind of clears uh, a little runway for you to, to not do that as much in the playoffs? Or what, what was the thinking behind that? Yeah, it really messes up my college football watching. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I think, I, think it'll be, I think it'll be fine. You know, um, obviously, game four or five, whatever it is, if we get to that point, I'll be ready to go. And um, things will change a little bit, obviously, a little less rest. But I think that's what we had to do to make the regular season work. And, um, we're going to do the same in the postseason. We're going to make it work however however I need to. I'll be ready. And were you able to find anything like in your last few starts there in the regular season just that you didn't have any prior to that? Uh, I think I stopped, stopped chasing some things and just started embracing what I had and started learning how to pitch like that and getting a little bit better at it each time and um, hopefully continue to do so tomorrow. Second row on the left. Freddie was in here earlier, and he was talking about how he loves watching you on, on a start day, your your whole <laughs> mindset, attitude, and everything. And he said he'd love to have a camera on that. Now, I know you would never allow that, but uh, if you did, what are the rest of us missing? Uh, I mean, I think you'd just be bored. There's not a lot going on there. Um, you know, I've said it before, I don't, I don't try to, I don't intentionally do anything on my start day. I just think that, you know, I have a job to do, and that's my focus that day. And, um, you know, the usual, like, jokes and small talk doesn't really have much interest to me on that day. So um, other than, like, taking a nap and throwing a ball against the wall, you're not going to see a whole lot. Having seen the D-backs several times this year, what challenges do you feel they present, and how closely did you watch their wild card series? Yeah, we watched the games. Um, yeah, they're, they're a great team. They've got some... Um, we got a really good speed and power combination in their lineup. We got a lot of guys that are swinging the bats well, and um, you know they're kind of in the more traditional sense. They got two guys that really have great years and pitch well for them, and probably will get to pitch four of the five games for them in this series. So um, you know we're, we're we're all familiar with each other at this point. So now we just got to go play and see who executes better. Back to Jack over here. Which is When you, when you say you stop kind of chasing things at the end of the season, is part of that velocity and is part of it just kind of figuring out how to pitch? With I don't know. know. Yeah, sure. You just, <laughs> I, sometimes I just say stuff, Jay. I don't know. Yeah, it just, <laughs> just sounds better. <laughs> Any last ones for Clay? We'll do one more. Dave? Clay, this is a broader question about the team. Uh, Dave was just in here talking about what it took to get to 100 wins this year. 
obviously a different team, a lot of holes to fill uh, coming off last winter. Can you talk about how the organization was able to fill those holes, whether it was JD, Jason in the outfield, and even during the season with Ahmed and Yarbrough, how the organization filled those holes and got you to this point again? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of guys stepped up, too. Like, obviously, Mookie and Freddie, uh, you know, Will, Muncie, all of from last year, you know, performed the way they should. And then, um, you know, when you add J.D. in the middle of that lineup, that's, that's a pretty good one through five punch right there. And then um, what we got from J.A., what we got from Peralta, um, what we got from Audi this year, um, I think all, I don't know about exceeded expectations, but we all we were really impressed with what they did. And, um, Mickey with his defense, so that's a one through nine punch right there. That's uh, that's been really good, and um, you know, obviously we've had some you know our rotation problems, injuries, and things like that. So for these young guys to come up and pitch the way they did, um, you got to give credit to the players first of all. I mean, they they all did an amazing job, and then you know you got to give credit to you know development guys, Andrew finding these you know um, pieces for us to get these guys ready to uh, help us win in October. It's been uh, it's been pretty impressive to see and. That's what the Dodgers do, though. You know, that's what they do. As long as I've been here, is we go and get players in the free agent market. We spend money, and then we have guys that are ready to come up from AAA and help us win games. And so, it's a pretty impressive thing when you look at it. All right, thanks for coming. All right, thanks.